Hi, welcome to another video. Every day, there's a new coding agent and whatnot, and it's all good. But combining it all into one cohesive domino effect workflow, where I just create a task or something, and the task just gets done for me, is the real challenge. But I think that I have figured out a pretty great way to automate this stuff. And I actually do all of this with Dart. If you don't know about Dart, then it is basically a task manager thing, similar to other tools. It has all kinds of views, features, and stuff that you generally want. But apart from all that, it also has all kinds of AI features that make it fully next-gen. It allows you to assign tasks to Dart itself, and it can go ahead and write an article or notes for you, which is awesome. It can also do subtask generation in order to break down a high-level task into multiple low-level ones, as well as help you do project planning like a proper project planner. It can also do duplicate detection to make sure that you and your team are on track and don't have the same task listed multiple times. You even get basically an assistant that is not just any basic chat assistant, but rather an agent that has all the context of your tasks. It can also change, create, edit, assign, and almost control the whole task management system. This is one of the best implementations of AI in a task manager that I have seen yet, and I almost use this daily. You can also add your teammates here and assign tasks and everything. Most of the features are free, but you can also check out the $10 and $15 plans for even more stuff. Now, it's not just these features. You also have a ton of more AI features, and one of those features is the Agents feature, which is what I'll be majorly talking about today. Agents is basically what it sounds like. In Agents, you can connect some pre-built integrations with other platforms easily, or you can create your own workflows in N8N, or just connect your own API endpoints that trigger a super custom workflow. I have covered this before as well, where I connected magic patterns in order to make UI components and stuff with it. But today, I want to show you how you can make a proper AI agent that does all the coding for you just from one task. The way that I'll be telling you allows you to set up anything as your coder, whether it be Claude Code, Gemini CLI, or even Joule. I'll be using jewels for this example, but you can use anything. This is super easy to set up as well. First of all, you'd have to go to your Dart account, and in the settings, head on over to the Agents tab. Here, you can see that I have a jewels agent here. This is custom built, and you can just hit the Add Agent button to create yours. This agent here interacts with an N8N workflow. So, just go to N8N and create a workflow there, and then choose the webhook option. From there, copy the URL and then hit Listen for Test Event. Then, enter that URL in the To section, and then add the content type header as Application JSON. After that, enter this here, which basically sends all the data about the task to the agent, and then we can use it accordingly. So, just do that, and then go to your board and create a new task. In the assignee, assign the task to the agent we just created, and you'll see it come through in N8N with the request. Now, connecting to Jules is not straightforward because there's no API or anything. But there's one way that basically allows you to connect almost any coder, whether it be Jules, Claude Code, or Gemini CLI. That's via GitHub issues. As you'd know, if you have the Jules GitHub app, or Claude Code GitHub Action, or Gemini CLI GitHub Actions installed in your GitHub account, then you can easily assign any GitHub issue to Jules, Claude Code, or Gemini CLI. In the case of Jules, it will just communicate with Jules, and then Jules will spin up its own virtual machine and just work 
like if you gave it a manual task. Whereas for Claude Code and Gemini CLI, it will spin up a GitHub Actions virtual machine in GitHub, get the task done, and then report back. I find Jules best for this, and it's free as well. If you do have access to Terragon, then you can use that as well. So, I use that, but you can also use something else. Anyway, so here in N8N, I basically just added a GitHub node and asked it to create a new issue. In this, just authenticate your GitHub account with one click and then enter the repo details here. If you have multiple repos and want this to be dynamic, then you can also use the tags thing in Dart to enter your repo name there and then reference it here. So that should also be doable for dynamic repo names. I mostly work on one repo, so I have it manual. Then, just drag the title of the task and then the description. For Jules, you'd have to assign the Jules tag to it. While if you do use Gemini CLI or Claude Code, then in the assignee, you'd have to write something like Claude or Gemini. Anyway, once that's done, just hit Test Event, and you'll see that it will just work and create the issue for you and give you the link of the issue. Jules will automatically take up that issue, and you'll see that it goes ahead and starts to work on it. This happens well, but we'd also want to update Dart in order to tell the person that the assigning went through and also give the GitHub issue URL for tracking the issue. So, to do that, you can just do it quite easily by creating an HTTP request node and then going to Dart. In the API section, select the API specification, and then you'll see that there's this API endpoint. Copy that, and then just add slash comments. Then choose generic authentication, select header auth, and then create a new authentication key. In the key, first go to settings, and then in agents, select the agent that you created, and then create an authorization key with just one click and copy it. Then, in N8N, just enter bearer, and then a space at first. So you'll type in bearer space, and then paste the key that you just copied and save it. Now, once that's done, enable send body, and then select using JSON. Then just enter this simple JSON array, and then drag in the task ID and progress URL that you can get from the webhook and GitHub run, and it will just enter the message into your task easily. So yeah, then just run the test event, and it should work fine. That's how it works. So at last, I can go to my Dart, and then I can create a new task here. So let me ask it to make the leaderboard a bit better. So just create that, and then assign it to Jules. Now this will go ahead, and it's super fast, because it doesn't need to wait or anything. You'll see that in literally a second, it will create the GitHub issue, assign it to Jules there, and give me the GitHub link, which looks awesome. So yeah, this is something that I really like, and you can automate almost anything. They have a built-in code again, and some more integrations, and there are tutorials for marketing agents, and all kinds of stuff that is super easy to do. But I really like this, because if you think that there's an issue with details that you think is relatively easy to fix, then you can just assign it from here, and it will go ahead and get that done. You can also configure the Claude Code GitHub bot and use that if you wish, which is also awesome nonetheless. That is majorly how it works. Dart is really good for the new native AI integration because it is built to be like a proper AI gateway. You can just add tasks here, make agents, use MCPs for native data retrieval in the coder of your choice, use APIs, and stuff. It's really good. Go ahead and give this a try because it's really awesome. Overall, it's pretty cool.
Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.